in the previous topic we saw about the dashboard we saw what dashboard is and what are the different options available in the dashboard right now the time comes when we are going to jump upon the configuration part so when it comes to configuration part we most engineers you know directly jump upon the networking thing ip addresses the zones then the policies because these are the basic thing like most firewall has they have to have configure the network and policies and they would like to take the firewall in production as quickly as possible so i get it because this is like a fundamental of the firewall configuration but let me tell you because when you are getting this new firewall then you're not going to put the firewall you know like tomorrow it's coming today and you have to put it tomorrow like that so when the firewall comes you do have a time to configure right so when i say you do have time then let's configure like step by step the proper planning and designing so that in future you're not going to have some kind of confusion so let me give you one example what i mean is let's say we directly decided to let's create one policy right so we go here in policies we try to add policy let's do the policy like a user internet right just for the test purpose and then after that we're going to decide okay who would be my users and of course in palo alto there would be source and destination zone so we will discuss about this later but let's say this is source um zone inside now here comes when we want to you know know who would be my users right there could be like a one user there could be many users totally depend upon you so let's say you configure one of the user for example ip address 192 168 let's take this ip address um okay 192 168 10.11 for example and this IP is configured then maybe user but we are going to talk about later destination destination is going to be your outside then the the traffic is internet then it's going to be any of course then application depend upon which application you want then let's say we are going for the HTTP traffic and HTTPS traffic only at this point and action is allow so this is one of our policies even created right so what happens this is okay when you are actually you know configuring this particular rule when all the policies are already been configured but when you start designing something like this you are going to you know get confused with like uh, later on because having this you know just ip address is not going to a good uh, kind of you know thinking because you want to know when after maybe a year or two when you have hundreds or two hundreds of the rules or maybe in the, in the policy then you should be knowing okay what this ip is belong to and what is the purpose of this ip and what is the you know the destination is going to like uh, which destination it is hitting so these are the information is really required when you are going to audit your firewall right so when it comes to configuring the firewall you should be having the proper designing so when i say designing you should be having proper planning of this firewall so that first step come from you should know who are my users going for the outside so for example let me give you this is your firewall right and in the firewall there is like your production traffic and in production traffic if you have Palo Alto of course you have enterprise network then you might going to have like a large enterprise network and there are like many many VLANs are configured so we'll talk about the two VLANs which is belong to one is sales and one belong to marketing for example and they are in different VLANs like uh, 192 168 10 series and this is basically 20 series so these are my two information similar to that there will be like more VLANs would be there like uh, 20 30 VLANs would be there and you should be having you know those VLAN information already then you should be having the excel sheet like okay these VLANs want which kind of traffic whether they want http https or particular you know specific application they would like to access so once you have those information been created then you should jump upon these policies right so what i mean is you should be having proper designing and planning then only you should be jumping upon directly on the policies now let's say we have all the information we wanted we have the vlan information vlan 10 vlan 20 something like that and all the subnets we wanted to give the access 
Now the next step comes when we want to configure those in the firewall. So we are not going to jump directly upon the policies. So there comes our today's topic about the objects. So we are going to discuss some part in the objects. So let's go into the objects. And in the objects, there is an option about the address and address groups. So these are the two options we're going to discuss today. And we will try to understand what are the importance of this address. And I'm guessing many of you already know about the Palo Alto firewall and you might already know what address is, what address group is. You might know like I know it very well because it's just uh, you know part of the adding the IP address into the address or maybe address group. So it's not a big deal. But the engineer who are just stepping into this firewall configuration, this would be very important for them because little tips are involved here. So let's discuss about that. So when you go to address, you have to just go to the address and here you can add the name. For example, I'm going to add name for the Bob. So this is not the host name, right? This is just a name we are going for our information because this is something going to pop up when we are going to configure the policies, right? And this is description you can add like whether it belong to sales or maybe marketing. It's just a description. So you can configure that if you want. Now here come the tips or tricks. In here it says type which is IP net mask. You can see the you know description is given here like how you can configure this um, IP address. So you can configure in IP version 4 or IP version 6. So I'm going to configure one of the IP address 192.168.10.11 is belong to I'm sorry one of the salespersons who is Bob and here you can either keep the IP address as it is or you can use slash 32 so these are the two format you can use to you know add the IP address so let's keep it as a you know one of the IP address so we have added one IP address so this belong to the host so when you are actually creating such kind of host it would be good if you add some kind of you know some some information which would make sense for you okay this belong to the host so let's add the host information because this IP belong to one single IP that is the reason it is for the host right so let's say we want to create this rule for the sales whole subnet so what we can do we can go to add here now we have to add sales right now in the sales we know sales is belong to um, 10 subnet so 192 10.0 slash 24 subnet since it belong to the network then it is also important for you to put some more information so we are going to put network you can just put it as a net if you want but let's keep it as a network for our understanding so whenever we see we see network okay, is belong to some slash kind of network you know subnet related so this is something we're going to do add so we have one host and one network now you might say what is the big deal because <laughs> this is very simple right now let me give you the another part now let's say we have another requirement that we want to you know the range of people should have access to a particular website so let's say this is our firewall and this is connected to internet and this is our production traffic and this is something we know it's belong to marketing team and they belong to 192 160 8 20 subnet but we want you know the range of people sitting in the marketing we want to give some of the people access to the particular website so those people belong to 20.11 to 20. Dot, you know uh, maybe 100 these are the range we want to give access to a particular website so how can we do that we are not going to add all those ip addresses in here right we can do it from like uh, creating the group but there is a like a uh, very simple way we can achieve this task so how can we do that right so let's discuss about that so to do that we need to just go to add and here we can add about say network and marketing sorry in the marketing now we can go to here it says the IP range right so in the IP range we can define 192, 168, 20.11 right and then we need to just you know give it the how many IP we want to give the access which is 
100 so this become our range so let's put it in here right if you want you can just specify as a not network but as a range as well if you want to have you know proper uh, naming convention so this become our three uh, object we created host network and related to range now the next it is it has the ability to do which says the wildcard mask so <laughs> this is something i could call as a weird mask you know because i don't see like many people do this but it is just you know one way of you can if you are like comfortable using wildcard mask then only because what happens when you put any ip address for example if you are going to use any network 192.168 let's say 30.0 then what would be its subnet mask if it is slash 24 right so we're going to write it down as a 255 255.0 right but the wildcard mask is a weird mask so we need to just flip it so it become like 0 .0 0.0.0.255 so <laughs> i don't know like uh, why people would do that but this is something wildcard mask work but it's totally mostly if you are the person who work with the cisco switches or router in the acl they use this kind of you know wildcard mask for um using the access list so we are not going to use in here because it might going to confuse us later so we're going to skip this part but if you want you can just you know add that part here like uh, what is your network and the what is your wildcard mask as you can see here this is the example you can follow in order to create that object now the next requirement comes when you want okay i don't want to you know put ip addresses because it's just you know uh, not easy for me to understand so it it would be easier if i keep the you know host name instead so there comes our next part which is we can use as a fqdn so in fqdn for example we need to use as a john john's machine as a we can keep it as a john machine because it's a host name and we want to give it as fqdn so in john he must be the you know the user of company so he might be having the laptop or maybe pc so let's keep it as a pc pc john for example and then after that you need to use domain because it is fqdn it is not just a host name right we can keep remove this tag so once you have domain then you need to put the domains for example we have abc.com for example so you need to put that information here so what is going to do this firewall is going to resolve this host name with the ip address and ip address may be related to 192.168.40 dot you know something else so that is something firewall is going to resolve but it is very important that your firewall should be the part of domain and it should be having the ability to you know resolve the name otherwise it's not gonna work so uh, let me remove this w okay so that is something you can also use the fqdn as well so let's do let's add this as well for example so we have four information so what we did we have the host name we have the network we have range and then we have fqdn now the next part what is the use of this address group so let's go to policy back let's say we are creating one of the policy here right and in the policy let's go in here if we come up with one of the requirement in the future that the source users are basically 20 or 30 we are not going to add those ip addresses here right because what will happen once you add those 30 number of ip addresses this rule or this rule is going to be sure as a, you know kind of very large so it's not a good practice so instead what you can do is you can also you know go it from here you can click it here you can add here and there also you're going to get the same option address or address group but let's follow our step we're going to go in objects in the address group we're going to add as an address group so in here we can provide one of the okay which group it belong to let's say this belong to accounting group right so in accounting group we're going to add the ip addresses so there would be the ip addresses for example 192 168 like uh, 50 and like 20 30 all the ip addresses we can add here and it will create one of the group so let's just add one of the fake ip address which is host pop and okay but as you can see you can also have the option you know to add network as well for example we want to include the network range belong to marketing as well as the network address 
for the sales so you can also do it from here so group is basically you know going to include other information like it belong to host or range it doesn't matter you can include all of them so let's say we have just one for our testing purpose and we have added here we have created the group so that is how you can create the address and address group and once you have created this whole list you can jump upon these policies so you can go back to policies now here you can play with this your rule because now you have the source requirement or maybe it could be your destination requirement you already have created so you have to just go and select for example here what is your source you will get all the information here you have to just select and you are ready to go and this is something you can just you know cross verify with your excel sheet like whatever the information you have created before you know configuring the firewall like a planning sheet i could say so you have to you know verify with that and you are good to go so that is something we can you know configure this firewall with the help of address and address group so this is for now and i will see you in the next recording with different topic see you there